Hey there boaters, this is John Hackstead. I am in West Palm Beach. Right behind me is the Y72. We're gonna do a walkthrough video for you today and uh, hope you enjoy. So here we go, we will start from the uh, aft and work our way throughout this whole boat. See the exterior styling has been done by Pinfarina. Beautiful aesthetic. Point out something that I want you to see that from the inside, there's a little bit of a curve right there. And part of that is the visibility from the inside windows. Also a nice design piece. Um, big, beautiful swim platform. Also for uh, your tender or jet ski. Right here is access to cruise quarters and engine room. And then we'll board two nice stairways leading up to the aft cockpit. Very wide side decks, T-clined, um, above hip height, or about hip height on the, uh, the stainless rail, so very secure going forward. All right, this window here will open, and then that slides across, so very open uh, for nice weather. We'll just stop here for a little bit to take in the entire salon. I'm standing in the cockpit, so it's unobstructed view all the way to the bow. Um, nice and bright, one level living from the cockpit into the salon. Nice large galley, full size fridge. With that open here, really extends the galley out to the exterior living space. Lots of storage or storage underneath the settee here. Places for dishware. This is all beautiful cabinetry done by Princess. And you can see the glassware and then your dishware. A little bit of luxury feel, but also very practical. Uh, everything in a place and a place for everything. This boat comes with two fixed mounted bar stools and then a great love seat there. And then a very large, you know, in a home you'd call it the sectional. Um, really a great place for people to sit, hang out. So now from the outside, look at the size of these windows. Um, it is massive, the amount of light uh, that came in. I just came into the boat a second ago. I really didn't even have to turn on lights, even though it's a little bit overcast today. There's so much natural light coming in. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna sit in the love seat. And then this is my, the camera is right at my eyeball level. So look at how great the visibility is you're sitting in the salon, great entertaining social. And then right here is the helm, lower helm. This is a flybridge as well. Nice side door to get out to that wide side deck to go forward or aft. This boat is a shaft drive boat, uh, bow and stern thrusters, and is also stabilized. And up here is uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but the pilot house nook or a little uh, spotting station that also right there is a little desk that pulls out, a um, little workspace, have a cocktail, um, but it puts you right with the captain. And so, and you're kind of ahead of the captain. So it's easy for the captain to have someone with them and not having to be turning their, uh, their back to what's in front in order to have some conversation. So from the uh, little Upper nook, oh, that is a window as well. Goes down, power window. Just show you the whole salon looking aft. Right there is the pop-up television. Now, going down here is to the master stateroom. And then as we go forward are the guest quarters. Now, I hope you'll be impressed with this. I certainly am. These staterooms, there's three up here and all would be great accommodations for adult guests. So we will start with one of the side 
staterooms. So full size uh, individual bunks. They do slide together to create one bunk as well. And that's a power sliding mechanism. Very large hanging locker. And then this one has access to the day head. So this is what in a lot of boats would just kind of be called the bunk room, actually has an ensuite bathroom. Now this one is almost identical, a little bit lower, but still has those big, huge side windows, two opening port lights, the beds that slide together, and just admire the, the design aesthetic, uh, the way the light is coming up through those kind of slats. Lots of gentle, not lots, but the, a great use of gentle curves on this boat. This is not a boat that has lots of angular um, aesthetic. And then this is the shared day head for that other stateroom. Now, this is the VIP guest quarter. So this is where your favorite people are gonna go. Um, this is one where the, the, the camera doesn't capture, but my first impression of this room was just how wide it is from this point all the way across over to here. There is so much volume and headroom um, that this is a really great space. TV on the forward bulkhead. And then this one has its own dedicated head. Um, the only entrance to this one is through this uh, stateroom. Walk-in shower, elegant fixtures, lots of natural light. So that's the VIP. So one, two, three staterooms, two heads, very comfortable space. And then in this hallway, because we anticipate extended cruising, is a stacked separate washer dryer. All right, 72 foot yacht. Think of how many complicated systems there are. This is your control panel. Princess Yachts, it makes a beautiful, high quality boat, but they also want your user experience to be friendly. So how is that for your control panel? Not lots of buttons and switches to figure out. Okay, so let's go down to this beautifully curved stairway that takes you to the dedicated master quarters. It'd be easy to miss as you go down and you're looking ahead, but right in this little alcove, I just gotta show you, look at, there's deep volume of storage in here and there's a matching one there. So another little thing Princess does where they use every bit of the space. So this would be, Hi there. Uh, the linen closet for the master stateroom. Lower extra storage. And then here's your space. Great little love seat right there. Big expansive windows. And then elegant dinette, or not a dinette, um, seating area, storage, big windows, and then the master bath is aft of the headboard or the head of the bed. Two sinks, and basically it's a full beam. And then a little dressing area right here with the master stateroom hanging locker closet. So a touch on interiors. Every princess yacht goes through a custom design process. It's not just like, do you want, you know, design A or design B? So colors, fabrics, um, wood choices, every boat is a thought out design. Um, and so if you order new, it's an incredible, you get really a, a full experience. On our uh, boats that we have in stock, we take a careful process to make sure each boat is unique and uh, will be desirable. All right, let's go up to the flying bridge. 
I just want to show you this hardware. It is just stunning and everything is done at the Princess Factory. So it is covered up here. Great hard top. These are louvered, so they're, it's a fixed hard structure when those are down, and then you open it up, it let dappled light and air through. Another settee. And a boat of this size, this can be also a place for your dinghy uh, to go thwart ships and then have a crane up here as well if you did not want the dinghy off the swim step. Side boarding door, and then let's go forward. Really nice wide side decks, great sturdy stainless rails as you go forward. As we just went by the captain's side door, and then a nice sun lounge right here with the uh, the backrests that come up, and then a really nice seating area up here. Um, so another place that uh, you can come and hang out big, wonderful ground tackle. Um, the storage units in here are massive. Um, let's do a close up of this stainless work. Just so nicely done, the fit and finish and the craftsmanship. Looking aft. These are large storage lockers, poles, fenders. Stop here and next will be the engine room cruise quarters. So here we are entering the cruise quarters, workroom, uh, and then also the engine room. So as we go down, and pardon the stuff, this is this is a North American debut. Uh, this will be at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, so we are still getting things ready, but this this is basically the first one you can see in North America. So you've got double bunks here. Nice little window and port light, allowing some fresh air if you want it. This is also air conditioned. And notice it is finished in the same wood and grain as the interior of the cabin. So as you go through, there's a door right here that leads to the head. So this is kind of a cool design feature. So this is latched here and it also latches in right there. But behind the door right now, is the head. So it's a double use of the door here. Uh, Walk-in shower for the crew or for your, I mean, 72 feet definitely could be owner operator and then great head as well. Okay, so then one more and you can see this is a much more watertight uh, door. Goes into a little shared space up above is a large hatch and that can be accessed this space right from the cockpit right in front of that um, seating area and just behind the entrance to the salon so if you're underway rough seas you don't have to go out in the swim step to enter these spaces you can see the hydraulics cable master we won't go through every detail but what i can say is you look at these videos it is bright it is well labeled and everything is very accessible. And then one step into the engine room.
Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Princess Y72. Princess builds boats from 45 to 95 feet, all gorgeously appointed like this one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, John Hackstead with Silver Seas Yachts.